three, two, one. This week's second, uh, thir- <laughs> this week's, th- oh boy, the 60 second spotlight, Words on Words, is going to be on The Man Who Sold the World by Peter Doggett. Now, this is a David Bowie uh, inspired book. Um, it's going to be about uh, David Bowie and his uh, time during 1967 and 1980, and that was probably his early years and also some of the most prolific writing of his life. Now, the songs in this book, they're the main stars. They each get their own subchapter, so you're going to learn about when the song was written, um, when it was recorded, and what album went on. And then the rest of the chapter will go on and talk about what was going on with David Bowie in that life and how, how did this song come about and what's the backstory on that so fairly interesting on that it's the biography part of it but Dog it's a musicologist so he's also going to talk about the instruments in the song and how they were layered and how that song or that sound came about and lastly he takes it to another level and talks to the musicians out there talks about the chord progressions in there what really made David Bowie to be a great musician so the uh, Man Who Sold the World by Peter to Dog it I'm going to give it all five stars and this has been the Words Are Words Spotlight where we preview a book for you when we do it in 60 seconds or less Oh, you had one second on the clock, <laughs> bud. Oh, one second on the clock. And I screwed up like twice there. You I know just what? Just, to just, I know, and just for that, I'm giving you double fireworks. Oh. That's, yeah. I pulled that's, it out. That's what I'm doing. I pulled it out. That was you scary. Did. You did. I tell you, there are some great stories. I'm going to share one with you because it's a musician story. Mm-hmm. So back in England, um, David Bowie he was friends with Mark Bolin. If you don't know who Mark Bolin was, he was from a real small, tiny band called, uh, eventually uh, called T-Rex. So, okay, big band. So what was going on then is they were, you know, friends, acquaintances on the the, uh, London band circuit. And what happened is Mark Bolin made it first and he made it big. And so what happened was Bowie got mad about it. Now, on his Hunky Dory album, there's a song called Queen Bitch. And on that, I thought it was just about a song, you know, Bowie being Bowie. I thought it was a song about two transvestites who had a falling out. And and it's he's being mad. He's seeing his old uh, girl or boyfriend, girlfriend down on the, the street and everything and throwing. I it remember keeps, that. He's throwing the suitcase yeah, or the clothes And he keeps out. referring to him and her and all this. Yeah. And, and I throw both his bags down the hall. And I always thought it was that. And then I found out it was about Mark Bolin because in the chorus he goes, she's so swishy in her satin and tat, talking about always dressing right. in a frock coat and bippity boppity hat. Well, those are lyrics kind of aimed at how Bolin would write. And the last line is Bowie, pure Bowie. Oh, God, I could do better than that. So, I mean, a lot of these songs, you go into this book and you start to hear the backstories. That's kind of cool. I They're have to read this fascinating. Now. Fa- that's read just this now. one story. Yeah, I'll have to read it now. There it is again, The Man Who Sold the World, David Bowie in the 1970s, Peter Doggett, right? Doggett? Yep. I said that right, I didn't butcher it. Nope. All right, Mr. Doggett did you justice. (laughs) (laughs) 